Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So one of my friends bought the 360 wavy wig from Wild African that I have my other video on and she asked me to customize it and do the hairline and the baby hairs for her so I thought why not film it for you guys. But let me just say right now that yeah, I filmed two videos this same day and this is the same shirt that I dyed my hair in in my bob video which is why my hair looks like that and why this t-shirt looks like that. It was originally all purple. People keep asking me about it but that's just from all the times I bleached and dyed my hair um but, but yeah first thing that I like to do is to make sure that the wig is secured on the wig head with some type of pin so that it's not sliding back and then I like to go back at least a uh, part at least an inch thick worth of hair out of the hairline because I want to be able to do at least three to four sections of plucking um, so once I do that I go ahead and spray the hair a little bit just to get the flyaways out the way and so that I can really see the dips and grooves that I am making um, and then I go ahead and I start plucking so what I do is I pluck a section and then I skip a section if that makes sense I have another video on this that is really more detailed but I wanted to do this quick one just to show you guys on an actual wig because I used a closure the not a closure a frontal the first time so as you can see I pluck about oh, I want to say maybe like seven to ten hairs and then I skip about seven to ten hairs and then I pluck seven to ten hairs and then skip seven to ten hairs and that's what creates the dips and the waves in the hair so that it's not just a straight hairline So once I make it all the way down to the ear with the plucking, I go ahead and part another section of hair that's going to lay on top of that and I do the same process but this time you want to make sure that you're not plucking in front of the same part that you plucked the first time because then you're just going to be creating a long like part ball spot. So you want to make sure that you're plucking in, part, in front of the part that you skipped the first time just so you can get a more even and a more uh, thinned out flowing hairline. So after you do that for about three to four sections, you should now be at the hairline and you just go ahead and do the same thing. And then you just kind of thin out um, the part that is going to be the baby hair so you don't have too much baby hair in the front. And now you can see the nice subtle difference and then you just do the same exact thing to the other side of the wig. So once you've plucked both sides, I just like to go through one more time in the front and make sure that I have uh, just the right amount of baby hairs out in the front and that I don't have any thick patches. So that's what you see me doing right now. It's just plucking away some of the parts that are too thick and then we want to start the baby hairs. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to use a foam wrap and this is just one from Jane Carter that I got from Target and what this does is it keeps the baby hairs where the baby hairs go and the other hairs where the other hairs go if that makes sense. So basically it'll keep your baby hairs in the front and keep them from folding back and keep the longer hairs from falling forward into the baby hairs. the hairs are set in place I just go ahead and cut and I want to say I cut um, I only leave about an inch worth of baby hairs because you want to have enough so that you can do the swoops I also leave the hairs that are closer to the ears um, a little longer because those tend to be a little more difficult when you're trying to get the wig to lay down and that'll cover any of um, the problems you have with the ear tabs lifting or anything like that the longer hairs will kind of hide that Next, I just take my favorite gel, which is the Eagle Styler Argon Oil Gel, and my hair toothbrush, and just start creating um, the swoops and waves with the baby hair. I have the baby hair shaped I go in one more time with the phone wrap and I don't rub it in I just kind of let it sit on top then I tie a scarf on it and I just let it sit until it's completely dry 
once I believe that it is completely dry, I just go in one good time with the um, blow dryer just to be sure that it's 100% dry. Take the scarf off and then there you have the baby hairs. They're not hard, they're not crunchy. They stay where they want, where you want them to stay and you can move them freely just in case you don't like them and want to change them. Unfortunately, I left my camera at home when I took her her wig, so I just inserted this clip of my video from the wig that I have, but this is the exact same method that I used when I created the baby hairs in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I helped anyone out there. If you have any other comments or suggestions maybe, please feel free to leave them down below. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.